Hello, welcome to Chess Prime. As part of this video, we are going to see how to read a property file in Spring Boot application with the help of a simple uh, Spring Boot example. So, without wasting the time, let's start an example. So, I'm going to create a simple uh, Spring Boot application with the help of Spring Initializer. So, this we have seen in the previous examples. So, let me create it first. So I'm going to use as a Java and Maven for build and try to use the release version, not snapshot version, so that you will not face any issues. So let me give group ID and artifact ID, Spring Boot property, and let me give the package same as Comtest and Jar, and I will try to use the latest version of java so also we need a dependency so i'm going to use web and also i'm going to use the spring boot dev tool so that if there is any change so application will reload automatically i don't need to stop and start the server so this is the advantage of spring boot tool and anyway we are going to build a rest service so we need a spring web so that's all about this project creation and let me generate it yes so project is generated and let me take and import into our eclipse so you can take the generated project and keep into your desired location so i'm going to keep it here and import and export here so this is done you can import this project into your Eclipse and then start modifying it. So this is the first step. Create simple Spring Boot application and then start modifying it. So this is a simple Spring Boot we created it. So here it's generated default a Spring Boot application. So for to test how to read the property file, I'm going to create a simple entity class which we can use so basically this is the entity I'm going to create it I mean, <coughs> so one of the user information so complete it so I'm going to treat as a component so you can create as per um, your application usage what kind of component class you are trying to create so inside that we are trying i'm trying to create some of the of name so so this is the two fields i want to read it from the property file right so right now we don't have any value here so i want to read the corresponding value from the property file so this is the simple use case we are trying to use it and this is a component and this component we are going to read it or inject the object into our rest service side so before <coughs> injecting the value or reading it let me create the rest service also quickly Let me create this one REST package. So your REST service is ready. This is a REST controller. And inside that, I want to create a simple API, get name, and it will return API. Name, full name. So here you can give the name. So basically, I, this what it will do. It will try to return a name. So how we are going to get the name? So we have already created a component class as a user info, so that you can do auto wire over here. User info and auto wire.
so you can import this one that's it and what you are going to do over here return user info dot so go back here and create setter getter so it's done setter getter is ready and you come back here here you can read the get first name space get this is the last name what we had given is it for dot get last name so this is the simple way we can able to read the entity data in your controller, controller and we, we can, can able to call, call it, it. <coughs> so your so service is ready your component is ready and now i want to keep this first name last name in my property file so let me keep f name equal to just l name equal to Prime. So, so these are the two fields I want, I want to read from my property file and I want to inject into my user info component and then I want to read this component class into my REST service and I want to return it back. So, so this is a simple service. Right. So, so let me start our application first. So basically the property data is there inside application data property and I want to read these two fields and inject into this particular component class and I want to read this component inside my REST service. So this is the simple use case. So let me test it. So right now we have not done anything special. We need to test. So, so you see here, we are getting null, null, null because we are not reading the value from the property file. Right now, we have just declared here, but we have not read it. So, that is the reason you will see. <coughs> see, null, null over here. So, now what I am going to do here, how to read this particular field into your component class. So, for that, we have to use a qualifier called <coughs> at the rate of value. and then which field you want to map it right so we have to use dollar curling base and go back to your property file copy it paste it over here so by default this value qualifier will leak the field value inside your resources application dot properties it's a default <coughs> property file it will look so this is done we mapped it the field f name now come back here and refresh so you can see here just so right now we have mapped only one field and we can able to see the corresponding value and the second field we have not mapped it so still it's returning the null value right so this is the way you have to use it you have to use the at the rate of value qualifier to map the property file field name now I want to read the second value L name so L name is same as property file key name right so I have mapped it and you can see here it's keep reloading the application for our Java or property file changes now come back here refresh so you can able to read both the values right <coughs> just fine so this is the way you can able to read the property file data into your component class and then you can read the same into your controller or service wherever right so this is one way to read it say for instance you don't have 
your property file in application dot properties you have a different property called file user info properties so this is the user info properties which is available and inside that we have some user info details so how we are going to manage it it's a different property and not in default property so how we are going to manage it right i just moved the property data into different property file and now i want to read it right now if you see right when I move the property fields into different property field, then our application raising an error calls F name. It's not able to find it because by default the Spring Boot application will look the property fields inside your application dot properties. If it is not there inside your application properties, your application will throw an error like this. So how to resolve this error? So to resolve this error, we need to tell the property source. So where is the property source and what is the file name to your component class where you are trying to read the property source and inside that you need to give the file name. So class path under class path where what is the file name you have to give the property file name here so then it will try to use the user info properties file along with the default property file as well so this is one of the way to give the property source to your uh, property reading where we are trying to do it So it should be property source. So it's not a sources, it's a source. So property source and you can give the class path under class path what file you are trying to read it. So now if you see when I changed it, I don't see any exception. So now come back here and just reload your application. So we'll be getting just for testing purpose. We just come back and change it here. One icon one so that you can able to ensure you are reading the property file. So you can able to see the first name, last name from the user info. So basically we have to use the property source and class path and you need to give the corresponding location of your property file. So this will be read and it will be taken the values from the corresponding property file <coughs> okay now another example say for instance now you have some fields inside your application dot properties and some of the fields inside your user property so we are going to manage it so it will read both if you do like this see now i have removed one of the field from the application dot prop user properties and kept into application properties and our application is a reload completed now come back here read it here so it is reading it so basically by default it will read the application data properties along with that additional property if you want to read it you have to tell to your application the property source and the corresponding file name so this is the way you can able to read it right so this is fine so now if you see another limitation here so everywhere what i am trying to do here i am trying to keep here at the data value at the data value i don't want to do it this kind of mapping so if you want to eliminate this one what i have to do it so to eliminate this at the data value so you can do another annotation another qualifier called configuration properties So what this configuration properties will do, <coughs> you no need to map or use this qualifier. 
so there you just comment it out so it will try to look for the f name inside the this property file and the default application and property file whichever is mapping it will try to use it so now come back here reload so your application is still working so that means if the name is matching it will try to use it say for instance the f name i just changed it to something different now let application will reload application reload successfully and now let me come back here it's null because it's not able to find the corresponding field value so mapping basically so the mapping is mismatch here so whenever we are trying to use the configuration properties class so you have to use the same name as property field name so then it is it is mapping if it is a different name then what you have to do you have to use the at the rate of value qualifier and similar way you have to use the name here then it will try to read it so reload completed come back here just frame so this is the way you can able to read the property files the default property file and additional property file which is available inside your class path so you can use these three qualifier property source mainly used to read additional property file and configuration properties which will be used to map the property file field names to your corresponding fields so here i want to highlight another point let me keep the same field name inside this user info as well and let me keep this one as a two so we have same field name same field name in two places application that properties and user info which one it will take so that's that's what we have to see it, the hierarchy or priority of the user properties so this you can come back here and refresh so you can see here it is taking the application dot properties as the highest priority compared to other properties basically what it will do it will try to reload the user info property or additional properties first at the last it will try to override with the application dot properties so that's the reason we are not seeing the this user info property file data instead we are seeing the the default or application source property value say for instance if i delete this one then it will take everything from the user info only so let me reload this one and we will see that one so you can see here so it is coming from the user info only so so this is the way you can read the property files data from the any property with the help of property source and configuration properties and at the rate of value qualifier i think that's all about this video if you like the video you can subscribe the channel more subsequent videos and thank you so much for your time thank you